Hello friends, welcome to Simple Mechatronics. As we all know, servo motors can rotate, either clockwise, or counterclockwise direction, to a particular angle only. With small changes to servo motor, it can rotate continuously on either direction. Here, MG90S, servo motor is selected for conversion. You may select any other servo, and follow similar procedure for conversion to DC motor. To open the servo motor, the four screws behind it, have to be removed, one by one. Use proper matching screwdriver, to open the screws. Remove all the screws, carefully. They are long, which holds both top, and bottom covers. Remove bottom cover. You will find the control circuit board. Carefully remove top cover also, without disturbing the gears, inside. You will find the gear train from motor to output shaft. On careful observation, you will find a stopper, which prevents, full rotation of output shaft. In other words, it may be considered as, limit switch for angular rotation. Now, carefully remove the stopper. You may remove the stopper set, if possible, or may break it, if it is small. Now the output shaft can have full rotation, that is 360 degrees, in either direction. Then, close the top cover carefully. Now, invert the servo. At the bottom of the servo, take out the control board. Cut the wires, connected to the motor. And plan to join, two separate wires, to the motor. Cut and remove, the other wire connections also. Now, solder the two wires, to the motor, as planned. Then, close the bottom cover carefully. The wires should match the slot in the bottom cover. Then, reposition the four long screws, carefully. Then, tighten all the screws, using the, matching screwdriver. Now, the servo DC motor is ready, with two wires, for testing. ABO motor's wheel, is selected for testing. The hole in its hub is made round to fit on servo motor's shaft. Now, fix the wheel on servo motor. And place the screw to lock it. Then, tighten the screw, using the screwdriver. Press like button, if you like this video, and subscribe, for more projects. Now, you may test the modified servo motor, by connecting to a DC power supply, which is less than 5 volts. Reverse the polarity of DC supply, to confirm that, the motor is rotating, in opposite direction. You may compare, the modified servo motor, with normal geared BO motor. Both the motors, are connected in parallel. Then, connected to the same DC power supply. You may observe, the modified servo motor has quick response to the DC power supply. Whereas, the BO motor shows, some delay, while starting, and stopping. Two modified servo motors, with wheels, are required for small robot making, line followers, and so on. Thanks for watching the video. More explanation and more videos are available at Simple Makertronics website. Links for other projects are available at description below. Bye friends, see you in the next project.